it back again. Uh, so I'm now going to see the bastard. Mademoiselle, allow me to introduce you to the bastard of Orleans. You must be John. Well met. I'm the Bastard of Orleans. I'm here to assist you to protect our Dauphin and to rid into France of the English aggressor. While I discuss strategies with my troops, a Jean de Metz, please visit the blacksmith and the shop in Orleans. They offer many goods that may prove useful in our future encounters. So basically, it's been what I've been saying. Um, the objective is to basically um, secure Orleans and to basically make sure that the uh, well, as few as villages as possible get slaughtered. So basically, we're saving the population from annihilation um, so that um, you know, in the future there'll be sort of soldiers and whatever uh, to help in France's campaign against the English. Is, um, if you remember, that when this game is set, it's set during the Hundred Years' War, and obviously it went on for a pretty long time, I think. There's got to be a reason why it was called the Hundred Years' War. Yeah, I, I tried here to um, recruit soldiers, because later on in the game you come here, and you can press R and you can recruit different types of soldiers like archers, masonmen, you know, knights and stuff. Um, but obviously it won't let me do that yet. Yeah, as you can see, um, all the characters can also carry uh, a secretary weapon which is usually a bow. So they all, they all um, can be rangers at one time or another. Um, that's if you're controlling them. They don't, uh, when they're controlled by the computer AI, they don't uh, have a habit of um, displaying their marksman skill. They just usually um, display their melee skill when they're um, um AI, AI, AI compute controlled by the um, computer. Yeah, and basically, even though know, we've just sort of uh, visited the um, blacksmith and baker, we have to do it again. And the places you need to get to are usually marked with a yellow cross. So that's how I know that I have to go back here and we do this bit and talk to them. So basically, uh, it's the game's pretty hand feeding you at the moment, um, you know, basically saying you should do this at this point, you know, but because I've already played this already, I know what I'm doing, but obviously, obviously, yeah, it's, it's a bit frustrating because uh, I can't remember all of what uh, each mission entails, but I just, you know, I want to get on with recruiting uh, each leader's soldiers and using siege weapons and stuff like that without having to be baby fed stuff because uh, I've played it before. I could actually, um, I could have actually um, played uh, this game from my save game. Uh, in which uh, at the end of the game you were given a ring um, 
which meant that uh, you can control more units of men, so it's sort of like a cheat. the um, reward for finishing the game. Apparently you can get um, a good ending and a bad ending. Uh, I don't know whether that's the, uh, to do with the last uh, mission, Mission 8, which is to uh, protect the dolphin from the English so that he can be crowned uh, king. Uh, I wonder if you uh, let him die, I wonder if that's when you get the bad ending instead of having to um, restart uh, or load up the uh, last save game of that mission. Uh, I don't know because I passed that mission with flying colours. It actually wasn't as bad as the seventh mission which I've already um, enlightened you about uh, a little bit. Yeah, when I first um, I had to complete, I had to go through several strategies to complete uh, mission 7. Fellow warriors, the callous English are up to their bloodthirsty tricks once again. Quickly, protect the lives of the innocents. Do not allow the citizens of Orleans to die at the hands of the English dogs, lest we will not have enough manpower to keep the city alive. I shall protect the town hall, should the invaders decide to attack the heart of our military operation. We cannot allow months of planning to go to waste. Okay, so basically this, oh, basically this is the um, thing I've been uh, talking about um, for the last, you know, ten minutes or so, or something like that, um, about the objective to. Uh, slay the enemy and protect the citizens from dying. Um, there'll be a little tab at the top of the screen soon. It'll say 18 citizens, that's it. Uh, and it'll say, you know, it'll go down. Uh, it'll go down, depending on. It'll tell you how many uh, citizens are left. Critical attack. Uh, oh, being yeah. attacked. And one thing you'll find about this game is that <laughs> you're always heavily outnumbered. I mean, you can see here, I've just rushed into the battle, but uh, it, although it may seem I'm being reckless here, um, I've actually got a strategy. I actually being strategic oh, being uh, in this My is you think yeah right you know surrounded by enemies and why not uh, so um, yeah because if I just don't charge uh, into it like this um, from this mission uh, something alone happened to John de Metz and we know what that's like, you know. <laughs> well, you should. Uh, well, I mean, you probably need some more evidence of that because if you've never played this game, you won't know what I'm talking about. 
but as time goes on and uh, you get closer to the harder missions, you'll see what I'm talking about. He's not very good at defending himself, or indeed, he's not really 